<laughs> okay, so I am in a tree, this beautiful giant tree, um, on top of a bat cave <laughs> in the middle of an island in Thailand. <laughs> um, but how did I get here? And a question I'm really starting to wonder is <laughs> how do I get down? It's a long way. From a lifetime of love and now a growing fear for our natural world, my challenge is to climb some of the world's biggest and most beautiful trees, all in the name of promoting reforestation. We have all played a part in this destruction, and now we all need to play a part in its regeneration. We only have one world and the future of it and all its inhabitants is in our hands. So come climb with me as I seek out spectacular specimens and spruik social change. I am Kit, and welcome to Kit Climbs. Okay, crew, so I have got an excellent day planned. But first of all, uh, when I got here the other day, um, I've had a couple of days here just to explore around. Um, I mentioned how close I thought I was to a lot of um, forest. So definitely up on the mountain behind me, um, really dense jungle. And I sort of thought, oh, this is fantastic. I've got... You know, this great uh, bit of jungle right here. You can go in and explore, find some animals, which I definitely have found some animals. There's a lot of monkeys around. Um, there's a couple of monkeys right there. Uh, <laughs> but unfortunately, this seems to be basically, um, well, it's just another form of greenwashing because look right behind here. Yeah, palm plantation, rubber plantation, and it's the same, same on this side over here. Um, just one strip of a corridor of of the forest, the original native forest, and yeah, that's all we're left with. So um, yeah, anyway, whatever the case, we're going to go and find some really nice jungle today. Um, I've got a couple of good things planned. Um, this sexy bees right here, going to take us on our adventures. So um, yeah, good day ahead. Let's do it. A little bit of fuel. Where's my money? Hey. Where's my money? Yes. So I've just pulled over here quickly because there's something I want to show you guys. So check this out. This big plant, I'm pretty sure it's called an elephant's ear. Um, someone can correct me if I'm wrong. But what's incredible about it is it's growing out of the concrete here. And I mean, I know we've seen, you see this everywhere, but it, it's um, there's a documentary I saw and it's about when a seed at the point of germination. So when the seed blows its seed, <laughs> um, the amount of pressure it releases is 10,000 atmospheres of pressure. So more than enough to punch through concrete. It always gives me that positivity that um, nature can certainly always overcome. Um, but yeah, this place is pretty far gone. There's, there's not much left of this. Nature is whew, like bursting out of it, which is, <laughs> I love to see that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, let's carry on. Nice! This is the way it should be. Jungle, ocean. Actually, here is a great representation of what happens if you allow uh, land to, to, to re, uh, self regenerate. You know, a lot of these trees will end up self seeding. You can already see a lot of the vines are, are well taking over, and the smaller shrubbery is, is uh, really thriving in there. But uh, yeah, it's, at this point, it's very easy for someone to go back in and clear it. But it's incredible, uh, you know, allowing nature to take back over. It's going to do what it needs to do. 
I couldn't resist. Couldn't resist just coming and having a cheeky look. Oh, doesn't that look lovely? Far out. Woo! Oh, that's nice. Damn. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. All right. <laughs> Rather than going to the beach today, we're going to the jungle. So let's do it. All right. If anyone is looking for a prime piece of real estate, <laughs> just another incredible. I'm fairly certain this used to be a bar. Um, you can even tell from Google Maps, just like it's been so much overgrown now than it was even not that long ago. But what I wanted to just come here and have a look at was this awesome tree, because what there is, is there's a climber. There is a, I'm, I'm fairly sure it's a, called a strangler fig. Someone please correct me. I'm not super good with trees, but in the middle of it, this is a, this was the original tree. And then these vines have just started climbing up and formed into a, like an incredibly strong structure. So that tree in the middle, which has still got life on it, um, yeah, you can see out there, it's full of life. Um, we'll eventually just die and then that will be a self-standing tree. Pretty incredible, but yeah, it would have been a really cool bar in its time, that's for sure. Got a couple of little, uh, I mean, two, two more of these pavilions and they're totally collapsed, but yeah, just super lovely. What a spot, eh? Ah, oh, this is so nice. You can just smell that earthy kind of, so good. It's like a drug far out. All right, almost at the destination. It's only taken half an hour. Okay, well, this is where we're going waterfall and cave this way because uh, well, I got these shoes, right, for, for climbing trees, but as I've never climbed trees before, well, not since a little child and just small little trees, um, I didn't really know what I needed. And I just got these cheap shoes. So that's kind of the point of today is to come and have a cool adventure. I'm gonna try out the shoes and um, there is a cave and a waterfall and apparently there is a tree on top of the waterfall. So if we can try and climb that, then Sorted. Hey, little guy. Yeah, I definitely am not feeling inclined to go swimming in that water. I'm not quite sure why it's that color. I thought it would be a bit more filtered and it hasn't been raining much, but uh, yeah, we're not that far from, uh, I think, the cave. I have no need to put on the shoes just yet. I'm so used to walking in thongs all the time. Um, I saw a lot of reviews on this place that people were like, ah, oh, I couldn't do it because I didn't bring good shoes. So far, I felt no need to ditch these bad boys. Um, but yeah, if I need to upgrade, I'm ready to go. But yeah, lovely little hike so far. I don't know if this is what people were talking about, but still, Those bad boys it served me well for years. Oh, no dramas, but uh, yeah, got a little bit of climbing to do, so maybe I will stop and um, chuck these shoes on because I do definitely want to test their grip. But oh, I can't help but go for a little wander in the water. Damn, that's fresh. Okay, get all out of these bad boys. Looking good. Oh my goodness. Look at what I found. This <laughs> is what I've been looking for. What a specimen. So thick. Oh, from here, that is a beautiful tree. <laughs> Just so expansive up in the um, up in the canopy. Oh wow, special stuff. That's the sound of jungle love. <laughs> uh, still following a track. 
seems pretty well worn, but I kind of I'm following one of these tracks that I almost feel like uh, is one that other people have followed, just thinking it was going to go somewhere, and then it just <laughs> it just doesn't go anywhere. Oh, uh, sheep effect! Oh my goodness, guys! Isn't that the coolest thing you've ever seen? Oh my goodness! <laughs> The way it is clinging and just taking over that rock face is just epic. Wow. And what a cool little cave. And look at this. <laughs> wow. These roots. I, mean, grow, I don't understand what's going on there. I don't know if you'll be able to see just this is grouping of little black dots. Oh, these cute little batsies, <laughs> just sleeping. Uh, but yeah, let's see if we can get up behind this thing because I need to get a better look at this tree. I mean, just look at these roots that have just come down and are just holding this mountain up almost. It's incredible. I think that there's a way. <laughs> Doesn't look like many people do it, but I really feel like it's going to be worth it <laughs> to get up there and and take a look at this tree. I'm not kind of quite sure what I have to be on the lookout for in terms of animals. So um, just try to make as much noise as possible. It's just a bit, I mean, I wouldn't say super sketchy, semi sketchy. Just a, so rotten. Oh, but there she is. She's just up there. So I just need to uh, uh, get over. Oh, I thought it looked like a, a little bit more of a of a place that people had gone. Clearly not. There she is. In all her glory, I just need to some footing okay. now I really feel like uh, I mean this is all just such a loose stone up here it's almost like this um, this tree oh this epic tree is holding the mountainside together <laughs> oh wow Oh my goodness, that's tempting. I mean, I don't know how I would get up there, but it looks like a seat. Oh dear. No, don't do it. Don't do it. But yeah, we're very high up. I mean, you can see this big palm just here at the top of that big palm. Just so many branches. It's just so expensive. Oh. Yeah. Hello down there. I did not really feel like going that way i'm gonna take my weight but i don't know if you can see down in there but it looks like it's full of holes but i mean it rocks right it's just me being sketched out get yourself together man well yeah well good thing i got these trusty shoes on me eh? this has been um a little bit more of a adrenaline filled undertaking than I was expecting and what just this leaf coverage has got me concerned like I can't even tell if I fall in there if it just goes down into the abyss because I know that I am quite high up above a cave so it's definitely in the back of my mind yeah I mean here's a perfect example that's a big hole <laughs> no, I don't want to fall down I seem to be back on relatively solid ground but yeah that tree is just so beastly just the boss okay looks like we've made it back down into the cave underneath hasn't stopped me building up an absolute sweat getting up there um, a little bit of it through um, nervousness <laughs> a little bit of it because we're in the tropical jungle but wow, I mean, up there, just, she's so epic. 
just look at this. It's just spurting out of the rock. I don't know if you can see there, but there is a big crack, like running up along there. Wait, there's my finger on the crack. Yeah, there. Running up through there. There's a big crack. So that there's roots were shot out of, and it's just like, up oh, mine. I'm claiming this ground. Oh, epic. That was definitely an unexpected climb. Just gonna go check out a waterfall now. And then I think that is probably enough for the day. Yeah. Ever a tree. I have no idea how to ever climb. That one. What? <laughs> it's gonna be like 40 or 50 meters tall. And the first branch isn't for 30 of them. <laughs> good so far feedback shoes have been good oh nice yeah i mean this is the good shit right 